everyone, my name is Lena Krupina. Today in the video, we will discuss the latest news related to the world of rhythmic gymnastics, about the new rules, how gymnasts from other countries treat them, will we see Avera and his sisters again, and what Russia wants to achieve in gymnastics. Well, before the start of the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Despite the fact that YouTube is starting to get dull in Russia, I still hope that we can see each other here. But since monetization is disabled, it will be especially nice if you support me through the links in the description. Thank you very much in advance. I think everyone already knows that new rules are being introduced in Russia that will only apply on the territory of Russia. If not, then I released a separate video about this, where I told in detail what those rules were. Well, recently, after one of the stages of the World Cup, gymnasts from other countries were asked how they feel about these rules and what they generally think about the fact that gymnasts from Russia and Belarus did not perform on the international arena. Takmina Ikramova, a gymnast from Uzbekistan who recently shone on the World Cup stage in Tashkent, winning single medals and at the next World Cup in Baku in the all-around, she became 11th. About the lack of gymnasts from Russia and Belarus, Takmina said that there is empty space without them. Since competition is higher with these gymnasts and you can learn from them. Th oh, now there is a big intrigue who will go into the final and everybody has a chance. This is really interesting. Takmina spoke negatively about the new rules, specifying that for adult gymnasts at international competitions, they will be difficult and in general, she is glad that they are only in Russia. Anna Sakalova, a Capria gymnast, says that in general, she has never competed with a gymnast of Russia and Belarus, so their participation is not so important for her. The only thing that can affect her is due to the departure of gymnasts of Russia and Belarus, her rating in the Fidge can rise automatically. About the rules for Russia, Anna said that, in her opinion, it would be difficult for Russian gymnasts to return to the world stage because they would have to change their routines and, as a fact, it would be difficult mentally. But she was interested in exercise in the dress with free hands. Elizaveta Polstinaya, a gymnast from Latvia, believes that the new rules are difficult and traumatic because an unlimited number of elements can lead to serious health problems if there is no good physical preparation. A Slovenian gymnast Ekaterina Videneva also happily commented on the rules in Russia in the format that she would not have to perform according to them. As discussed in one of the online chats, the Russian regions should not compare themselves to the national team and develop on their own tempo to not traumatize children. An Australian gymnast Alexandra Kiro Bogatirova also commented on these rules with apprehension, since for adult gymnasts the load on the body is greater, and for older gymnasts it will be generally unrealistic. Aljana Taneva, a Kazakh gymnast, trains mainly in Moscow, but now, due to the difficulties with flights, she was forced to return to Kazakhstan and train there between competitions. According to her, due to the absence of gymnasts from Russia and Belarus, the atmosphere has not changed, except that it has become easier in terms of competition and the battle for medals. In general, as we have repeatedly discussed, this is a chance for young gymnasts to prove themselves. Aljana also spoke negatively about the new rules, rejoicing that they do not work for international tournaments. Milena Boldassari is one of the leaders of the Italian national team and a beloved gymnast of many who has been performing at international tournaments for several years, especially misses the gymnasts of Russia and Belarus, adding that their absence is felt at the tournaments as the gymnasts are the strongest in the world and they have always fought for the podium. US gymnast Evita Griskinas also faced the problem due to global conflict. They used to train in Novogorsk between competitions, but now it doesn't work out this way. Evita doesn't know about the new rules. The only thing that she said was the quote, Lala Kramarenka makes a million elements. I saw that on Instagram, but I didn't look at anyone else. In general, she is also clearly not enthusiastic about the prospect of playing according to such rules. Evita also added that not in all countries, children will be able to work according to these rules of Russia, since not everyone has such a culture of gymnastics and not everyone can afford to train as much as Russian gymnasts. Brianna Kalin, a gymnast, from Bulgaria also said that the lack of Russian and Belarusian gymnasts, given that Boryana has also been performing on the world stage for several years, they must all have become friends. Boryana hopes that everything will return to normal soon and all the gymnasts will be able to compete with each other as before. The only question is, does Russia actually want this because they are developing their own rules at the moment? So Alina Kabaeva actively speaks out in defense of the Russian new project saying that the rules are now operating are very simple and do not reveal the gymnast and her talent. But perhaps here we are talking about only one gymnast. Alina Kabaeva also believes that if competitions are held only within the country, then Russian gymnastics will be more spectacular 
and will not lose anything from this. Of course, I was also very alerted by the words of Lala Kramarenka. Я кручу практически 7-8 секунд вот этот поворот, и за это время я могла бы сделать три работы с предметом, получилось бы по времени меньше и дороже. Работа с предметом у всех примерно была одинаковая, поэтому и гимнастика становилась на уровень ниже, и она была не настолько зрелищная. На международных, на фижевских соревнованиях ты не имеешь права сделать тройной элемент, тебе не будут его считать. Это очень странно, непонятно и обидно. For me, of course, this sounds in the format of I'm doing great eye makeup and spending three hours on it. And why you can't get a higher score for this? It's a shame. Gymnastics obviously loses from this. As for me, this is precisely the point of the international rules. They are there and the same for everyone and do not equal the one who does something better. And the task of the coach and the gymnast is to compose the exercise in such a way that they can win according to the rules that apply to everyone. In general, it seems strange to me that we do not like these rules. We don't always win according to them. Let's come up with our own and implement them. After all, the essence is that sport should be an Olympic sport. And sport becomes Olympic only if it complies with certain rules of the Olympic Charter. One of the rules is this sport should be distributed on at least three continents and 40 countries. So if rules are valid only on the territory of Russia, plus some acquaintances in the nearest countries, then it will be no longer a rhythmic gymnastics and Olympic sport, but rhythmic gymnastics Russian sport. There is a technical committee that develops the rules for the new cycle. Why not come there and with your proposals? In my opinion, Russia has always been listened to in terms of the rules of gymnastics and Rina Alexandrovna has repeatedly achieved what she wanted there. So why not just do it correctly and officially? and not in some weird way. Well, about the beauty, I really like the new rules and I think it's interesting to look at variety of exercises in which there are complex elements, work with a partis and artistic component. No matter how much I like Lala Kramarenka and no matter how unique a gymnast she is, it's hard to watch when the gymnast only turns throughout the exercise, does elements and sometimes doesn't move around the carpet at all. Yes, Lala's natural talent is incredible and it is good for shows where they surprise the talent. Such exercises will be spectacular. But just imagine that all the gymnasts will do just elements. And why then do we need the apartis? It seems to me that everything should be of equal value. The elements, the apartis work, and the image. If you want to have the most difficult elements, make changes to the elements, cost, and complexity. Sure, then this could be solved. But 18 elements, as it was in the time of Kobaeva, is too much for me, and it's good that they loved this. In the apartheid, I like to look at some interesting things in the format of how did she do this, or how the subject swept beautifully. This also catches the eye no less than natural talent. And the image as a whole, which Irina Alexandrovna fought for herself, as for me, is easier to convey when you don't do only elements, but also when there is a work with apartheid and dance steps. With artisticity in general, I would also like it to become more clear. And in a recent interview, Yekaterina Vidineva commented on this moment, a gymnast who has been performing at the international level for several years. She still does not understand the judging system and how artisticity is evaluated. And if athletes themselves can't understand, then how the viewers and fans will understand it. For whom, in fact, this is all being done. Perhaps it would be better to resolve these issues, including the Fitch Technical Committee. Then gymnastics would become not only spectacular, but also understandable for the viewer. In football, everything is very simple. If you score, you win. Therefore, are so many fans, because it's easy to understand. But everything is complicated in gymnastics for us so far. And no matter how much I try to explain all the little things, there's really too many of them for people who do not boil in this all their lives. In general, I didn't hear much enthusiasm for the new rules except from Alina Kabaeva, Irina Viner, and Lala Kramarenka. Yes, and we don't want Russia to really close on itself and hear the juniors compete among themselves. Even Dina and Irina Averina spoke with apprehension about the new rules, having said that they are not suitable for them since their health will simply not allow them to do what Irina Alexandrovna says, at least until their health heals. But knowing that gymnasts become less flexible with age, we are unlikely to see, according to these new rules, Dina and Irina. In general, girls cannot be expected at competitions and tournaments. According to them, at the moment they are training to keep in shape, but they do not plan to perform. 
Now there are only various shows and masterclasses. I think that before the official announcement of their retirement is not too long. Write in the comments what you think about the new rules and whether the world of gymnastics should adapt them. And is it right at all that Irina Vinner took such a direction for the development of gymnastics in the country? Also, you can comment on what you think about Dina and Irina. Will we see them on the competition carpets or is this the end? Well, that's all for today. Remember that I love you all very much and bye bye. Bye.